All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, welcome to episode two of this Dwarf Fortress series, uh, where we try to conquer uh, the entirety of this little pocket world uh, that we've generated here. So uh, when we last left off, we got a bunch of new migrants, right? So we're sitting at 14, uh, got seven new ones. Um, and so, uh, see how that goes it's always that first migrant wave is always nice because you get a bunch more um dumb labor to just haul around stone and, and manage stockpiles and, and stuff like that which is nice um but one thing that you do notice is uh animals yeah so they brought some uh some additional animals so we'll want to get those pastured um and at this point we go here this should be big enough for all of them so we're gonna uh this pasture that we had uh set up previously with our yaks we're gonna add those uh donkey foals and horse foals um i haven't i don't know like what the most efficient um like how much grazing area each type of animal needs um but you will be able to see um like the the ground around the the pasture area get brown as the uh the food gets eaten as the grass gets eaten so that's sort of an indicator to you if it's mostly brown then you might want to you know spread some of that away um i'd like to uh in this episode probably my goal is to uh, get that first uh caravan get some trade goods and you know see see where we are there um and so Letting this run a bit. Uh, we're still digging out some bedrooms here. Uh, so we have a bunch of dwarves who want to definitely get a bed uh, for each of them and get those beds assigned. So I'm actually going to uh, go ahead and where is my crafts dwarf shop? Is that down here? Mason Carpenter. There we go. Uh, make wooden bed. We're going to need a ton of them. Uh, so yeah, because we have have five of them right here so we can potentially deconstruct those and then the other 10 so that, that'll bring it to uh, 14 which uh, should be enough um, so this bridge to like to get that constructed but what I'm going to do is uh, I'm actually gonna go down to these stones right here and uh forbid them because i think the dwarves are are trying to grab these stones and then um using those to try to finish off this this bridge and um they're running into trouble they're uh, getting caught and you know getting swept away and dropping it and then they keep trying to go back and back and back to to pick these boulders up to finish this construction so um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, not spend that, but X, remove that and remove that, and then build a uh, floor, uh, put it right here, and then there's no uh, microcline available, uh, so I'll just go with conglomerate I guess that's fine it doesn't need to be pretty and I can always change it later if I uh, feel the need to do so uh, is that a refuse stockpile yeah okay so that's good uh, dangerous terrain again with those uh, so I might go ahead and forbid this stuff too that's not going to cause any issues. Dog blood. I don't know. He probably got into a fight over here again. My dogs have been fighting these badgers. Oh no. Straight dog tooth. Is this where my dog had lost all of its teeth? I don't know. Is it this one? No, it was this this one. Her teeth, her teeth is gone, right here. Uh, I'm willing to bet that what I'm seeing 
is over here is all of those uh that dog's teeth wow anyway uh enough of that so yeah just waiting for those beds to get made um how are we on drink so we could stand to make some more drinks so i'm gonna queue up some Looks like we have a couple barrels, so that's fine. I'm gonna just go ahead and brew a couple barrels here. These. Okay. Um, what I also would like to do is for this craft craftsdorf's workshop, um, have a little. Uh, downstairs um, and this is what I like to do for my workshops is have a stockpile that feeds them directly um, right next to it but then have another bigger stockpile that can take from anywhere and then that stockpile goes into this smaller stockpile here and if you put that um, like big feeder stockpile underneath the workshop um, it actually, it saves a lot of time, um, being able to, uh, have the dwarf that's doing the crafts, like, not have to walk halfway across the fortress to find his materials, has it right there. Uh, a bunch of dwarves can, um, bring that, um, all the stuff anywhere in the fortress to that feeder stockpile, and then, um, yeah, it just ends up working a lot more efficiently and, um, and we're all about efficiency. Uh, we want we want this dwarf to focus on making crafts as fast as possible, uh, because our goal is to totally buy out the first caravan. Um, and if you do if you do that, then we should be um, pretty well on our way for that. So um, definitely want to focus on that at least for now until we can get some other industries uh, up and running. Very interested in having an armor and a weaponsmith. Um, because those, uh, those industries can definitely, um, I don't know, that's, it's definitely something worth investing in just from like a defense point of view, but um, some very high value. And especially if we get some, um, some, some good metals, uh, which is another thing that I'd like to do a little bit of exploratory mining with. Um, and I'm thinking maybe have the, um, just digging straight down around here, uh, down to the cavern layer, just, uh, I don't know, just so I'm not exposing myself so bad. So I check on the bedrooms, looks like they're still going. This is that sandy, silty clay, yeah, okay. Let's just go ahead and get the beds that we have now. set up. I want to build some wheelbarrows too. Because um, yeah, having a wheelbarrow as part of your stockpile, especially for stone, can go, um, can go a long way. Cancel building dangerous terrain. Why are they trying to go Badgers are, I don't know, might cause problems. Might be worth, um, with the amount of wild animals I'm seeing. Might be worth uh, investing in some, some traps just to have a bit of a meat industry going. Um, but that's a, that's a question for a future time, I think. Doesn't need to happen right now. We are uh, pretty low on drinks, and I actually don't have a brewer. So let's load up. Uh, 
dwarf therapist right here and just take a look at uh where are we brewing we have one brewer and he's also a plant gatherer and a farmer so maybe we um who would be a good uh let's take a look at um this Craftsdorf might be a good healthcare. Yeah, that's fine. Let's let's actually make him a uh, make him a brewer. It's because that's that's a that's an absolute necessity. Because um, we're getting a little low on our drinks right now. Yeah, I shouldn't have waited so long. Um. Yeah, looks like he's uh, he's going at it now, so that's good. Get some more uh, drinks. Um, your first um, caravan is very likely to have a lot of uh, food items, and that's uh, important too, is to to buy that up. So we're not um, so beholden to you know keeping a keeping a um, farming system going. We have. Um, a bunch of different uh, plants and yeah it's the variety that, um, that the, the dwarves like if they eat the same thing over and over and over and over again they actually can get a negative thought from that which is uh, not great so late summer so we should be getting a caravan pretty soon uh, we have some idlers so uh, stone worker um, Let's just make some, yeah, make some doors. Those are always needed. Um, and then if we, is that leather cloth? Yeah. So that probably means we're done with the beds. So we can get those placed down here. And then get these Signed. Uh, there's probably a, a DF hack like script to just like automatically assigned assigned beds, but I don't know what it is, and it's just muscle memory at this point to assign them all, you know. So uh, we're just gonna keep keep doing that, I guess. Uh, comment down below if you uh, know a better way to, to do this or lay anything out. I know there's a bunch of automation tools uh, that I just really haven't uh, explored so much uh, with DF Hack, but um, yeah, we'll see. Um, hopefully some of these dwarven children are like... If I assign a bed, they also get assigned that bed because their parents got assigned it or something. I don't know. some Something like that. Uh, can never have too many beds. And I'm actually going to make some wheelbarrows to... Uh, wheelbarrow. Because those are nice to have for those stockpiles, like I was saying. Uh, so we're going to want a up stair right here. Um, I know I'm kind of bouncing around between a bunch of different uh, different things, but um, that's sort of how it goes. Is like you de designate a bunch of work, and then um, you let that go while you're while you're doing something else. So uh, it seems sort of haphazard, but um, it should be um, should be better. Yeah. See, so we have plenty of drinks now. Uh, right here so that that should hold us until we can we can buy up like dwarven wine and dwarven rum and and all that so that's good uh let's go and lay some doors down that's that'll be good yeah see these guys hauling stones right here uh they're probably hauling them to a um to that craft.
Craftsdorf stockpile. And yeah, so that Craftsdorf is, um, you know, he's using them faster than they can get brought up from, you know, the very distant parts of, uh, of the fort. So uh, it's going to be super important that we get this stockpile up here set up uh, with like two or three wheelbarrows just so we can very quickly uh, come from other areas. So that'll be going on soon. Is this all almonds? Apricots. Oh, so it's fruit on the ground. I'm looking out here and it's like, it looks like a field of blood, which is not good. Anyway, <laughs> that's where the color can sort of confuse you, you know? Yeah, and I'm super excited seeing all these trees, this thick forestation. Um, it's going to be awesome when it comes time to get into smelting because um, there's going to be a ton of wood um, and we're going to have plenty of that for like running our furnaces and all that. Autumn has come. All right, so we're probably going to get a uh, caravan at some point, and our uh, stone crafter is making a bunch of um, masterpiece um, crafts, which is going to be good. Uh, definitely carries a lot of value, and um, I think microcline, the uh, the blue um, stone, has is a relatively high value as well. All right, so we're gonna go uh, custom stockpile, uh, custom settings, stone, other stone. Yeah, so it's already set up here. Uh, and then we're gonna say custom stockpile, say this whole thing. Uh, actually, this whole thing, does it treat that as the same one? No, it doesn't. So I'm just going to remove that uh, and then just make sure I'm getting the whole thing uh, custom stockpile I'm just gonna make sure the settings still saved yep wait a minute okay yep yep and then the settings here I'm gonna set the wheelbarrows to like three or something um, which should help them get filled up pretty pretty quickly and then we're gonna say uh, give to a stockpile we're gonna say give to that and then we're gonna set this stockpile to take from not we'll take from anywhere but we'll take from links only um, and so that'll uh, that should end up being a lot, um, a lot faster. So you don't have to uh, walk so far to, to fill up this uh, feeder stockpile for the craft dwarf, which is good. That's exactly what we want. Um, and by the looks of it, we should keep, uh, keep digging. And so I might actually try to um, like figure out where my, where I want to break into the cavern layer. Um, yeah, why not, why not right here? I want to get some extra microcline anyway. And, um, I want to set up a bunch of defenses around here. So yeah, having it sort of towards the entrance is going to be, I think a little bit, uh, more defensible. And so we're going to say downstairs right here and then uh, I up downstairs so that will want to be here right yeah and then just send it down um, and then we can make some um, doors to um, to hopefully you know, close that off a bit, maybe get some traps if, if we start running into problems. So, let that man keep 
going. Um, I'm going to mute my mic and clear my throat. Didn't want to put you guys through that. We have struck cat's eye. That sounds painful for the cat. Yep, okay, so we're in the cavern now. Enter, so we're paused. Um, that is a long drop. What is this? Tower cap, okay, so that's a tree. It's a big mushroom tree is what that is. Um, so... Hopefully our dwarf doesn't fall. I don't know exactly what would happen. Malachite, what is that again? Is that tin or is that... I'm gonna actually look that up on uh, the wiki. Malachite is copper. Okay. So we have, uh, we have found copper. Hmm. So if we can get some tin, whoops, uh, if we can find some tin, that would be good. Ooh, and I think I see phylite. Uh, never mind. I thought that was um, like lignite or whatever that bituminous coal. Um, that would be nice to find, but I don't think I see any of that. Uh, so yeah, we'll keep going with this. Is this marble here? Nice. I think is how that's pronounced. Good, nice, nice. Um, all right, cool. Yeah, I don't know if there's a way to drop a cat down here or something and have it wander around. I know that's kind of cruel, but it's a pretty effective way of uh, exploring this. And cobalt tight. So that's just another stone, I think. There's no... You can't melt it into cobalt or whatever. Ooh, is this silver? Galena, so that's silver. Uh, and I think... Uh, you can... Make... Copper... You can make billion... Galena. And I think you can... Make lead. Copper and lead, I don't think there's, uh, I don't think there's any useful alloys with that, but silver's awesome for, um, hammers, so that'll definitely be something that I want to get down there and, um, you know, get my weapon smith, uh, busy on that. That's huge. Okay. Uh, but like I said, um, this is probably not that bad of a, um, a place to start because I can it looks like it's only accessible to flying enemies and uh, that might be good for me because um, I can put a door up here and hopefully um, they're not so eager to, to come up inside the, the fort so I'm actually gonna do that I'm gonna build a couple doors right here uh, door I know uh, with all the pausing I'm doing uh, this caravan's never gonna come so we'll just uh, let this happen just looking at Uh-huh. All right. Got our caravan. Perfect timing. So 
we have to assign a, a broker. Okay, so you're our broker. Uh, we're gonna say we're requested and then we're gonna move goods. Uh, so we'll go to stone crafts. We're gonna want that ring. We're gonna want the finished goods bin, finished goods bin, finished goods bin, finished goods. All of this, actually. Uh, I will need more bins at some point. Hopefully, yep, we're bringing everything up here. Hopefully, when that's done, I'm actually gonna go ahead and just make those bins. Still bringing some stuff uh, to depot. No, we're not. Okay, so let's see uh, what we got in the trading. So finish goods bin. Yeah, see, so this is pretty valuable. I'm actually... Uh, going to it's probably a DF hack um, shift enter settings So yeah, it's just the, the uh, we can sacrifice some bins, that's fine. Uh, so value 84, that's all being traded. Uh, I don't have use for much of this here. I'll microcline. Oh, that's what I have. I'll take a couple cheap ropes just because. Water skin, whatever. To the boat. Uh, I don't need any cages, I don't think. Eh. I think I can just build some out of wood if I really need it. Beer. Would want some of that. Ale, bar barrel, wine, rum. Yeah, we'll take all that. Uh, probably want some weapons too. Steel pick is whatever, but... Um, Bismuth bronze is... Yeah, that might that one might be all right. I don't know. Let's see what what else they have. Iron mace, steel pick, copper warhammer, steel pick, steel pick. I wish there was some other steel things. Steel short sword. Yeah, I'll take that. I'm gonna just grab a copper pick just to and a war hammer too because oh yeah I already got that one uh, short sword no iron battle axe might be worth it some 
bronze. I'll, I'll afford the steel at a later time, probably. Iron Helm, that, that'll be good. Bronze Gauntlet, there we go. Take a bag, cheap bag, why not? something, right? Just better some cloth. Yeah, 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 whatever. Earring. Steel anvil. Um, I'm gonna definitely pick up some of these uh, food items. Helmets or whatever, I'm growing my own. Some plants. And then um, we're going to be making some thread yarn, sure. Get some of that just because. Uh, bronze greaves, that's fine. on this, so I'm just going to trade um, and make the dwarves love me. Have a bunch of food, have some weapons, maybe put a couple dwarves in a uh, in a squad, get some military going, and, and you know, call it a day. So we'll say uh, T to trade. Are you sure you want to trade the selected goods? Enter OK. Uh, seems ecstatic. So that's good. Alright. See, we we basically, we bought a ton of stuff that we need. We're in really good shape. Uh, except we need to keep mining. Um, and we have, yeah, look at our food stocks. It's really good. All right, cool, cool, cool. Um, so with that, I think I'm gonna close it out here. Uh, thank you everyone for joining and we'll catch you next time.